and, and in my view, the, the, the issue I want to raise is uh, probably the most deserving issue that, that I certainly see amongst the DVA, amongst the veteran community. Secretary, the, uh, the issue that I'd like to raise is the TPI issue. Uh, and I wonder if you could, before I get into any detail, could you give us a, an update of where you are on all the, uh, on, all, on, on the TPI issue, please? Absolutely, Senator. Um, so, as we know, um, I've had many conversations uh, with the president of our TPI Federation, and at last um, hearing I mentioned it, it was extremely complex for me to try and understand what the, the key issues were that uh, the, the Federation was seeking. So the crux of the matter is this, um, that our TPI um, veterans are keen to seek an increase to the economic loss component of their TPI compensation um, pension. That economic loss component, when you look at it, is actually 63% of the national minimum wage. Um, our TPI uh, veterans have a, an impairment that is uh, as a result of their military service which prevents them from working as other veterans who are not TPI to build up their, um, their wealth, their superannuation, their nest egg. Um, so as a result of that, um, the TPI Federation has been seeking an increase to um, the tax adjusted national minimum wage, which the Parliamentary Budget Office costed um, a while ago at about $240 million. Um, in the first year, and then that might progressively come down, but it's about $240 million per year. There is what I would call an inequity or, or something which has to be addressed. You're just not sure how, you, how to address it at the moment. Um, so um, from my analysis of it, if you just look at economic loss, which yep. is what the Federation has been seeking for a period of time, then there there, the evidence that they provide there is a case yep. to look at that economic loss component.